You might think you know Archie, but here are 12 facts you may not know about America's typical teenager. Archie Andrews first appeared in Pep Comics No. 22 from MLJ Magazines in 1941 in a story called, appropriately, Introducing Archie by Vic Bloom and Bob Montana. Montana based Archie's town, Riverdale, on his life growing up as a teen in Haverhill, Massachusetts. Archie's first story introduced Archie, called Chick in the story, and his next-door neighbor Betty Cooper, who was annoyed by Archie's antics. Archie's attempts to impress Betty ended him being volunteered for a job as a tightrope walker. Jughead also appears in this first story. At the time Archie first appeared, MLJ Magazines was publishing stories from all sorts of genres. Fantasy, war, sports, mystery, but most notably, superheroes including comics' first patriotic superhero, The Shield. However, Archie soon became so popular that in 1946, MLJ Magazines was renamed Archie Comics. One running joke from the Archie series is Archie's love for his old beat-up car. For decades, his jalopy was depicted as being a 1916 Ford Model T, but this car was destroyed in 1983's Life with Archie No. 238, and has since been replaced by a 1960s-era Ford Mustang. Archie and his friends have a band called The Archies, featuring Archie on guitar, Reggie on bass, Veronica on keyboard, Betty on tambourine, and Jughead on drums. This fictional band produced a real song, Sugar Sugar, which went to number one on the pop charts in 1969 and sold over six million copies. Although Archie is best known for not being able to decide whether he should date Betty or Veronica, he has also dated many other girls, including fiery redhead Cheryl Blossom, who was for a time banned from the comics for being too sexy, teen magazine editor Ginger Lopez, and Valerie Smith, the bass player for Josie and the Pussycats. Archie Comics has published several versions of their superhero line, including The Shield and The Fox, but the Archie gang themselves have also had superhero adventures, with Archie's alter ego being Pureheart the Powerful, Betty's being Super Teen, and Jughead's being Captain Hero. In the 1970s, a company called Spire Christian Comics, otherwise best known for publishing Hanzi, the girl who loved the swastika, licensed the Archie characters for a series of evangelical comics by artist Al Hartley. These comics feature a story where Archie and the gang meet Jesus on the beach. In 2010, Archie Comics revived the old title Life with Archie with a series called The Married Life, which took a look at twin possible futures, one in which Archie married Betty and one in which he married Veronica. The series ended in 2014 with Archie dying in the act of saving the life of his friend Kevin Keller. Such alternate universe hijinks are actually pretty common in Archie comics, placing the gang in different settings and genres, such as Archie 1, where the gang are cavemen, Archie 3000, where they live in the future, Jughead's Time Police, Archie's RC Racers about radio-controlled cars, one where Jughead's dog lives in a robot house, and most recently, Afterlife with Archie, which pits the gang against zombies. Archie has also never shied away from crossovers, even, or maybe I should say especially, ones that are totally ridiculous. Notable Archie crossover stories, and I promise none of these are made up, have had the gang meet the Punisher, Kiss, the kids from Glee, the Teen Titans, the Ninja Turtles, Cthulhu, the Predator, and Sharknado. In 1990, a made-for-TV movie called Archie to Riverdale and Back Again saw the gang, now in their early 30s, return to Riverdale for their 15-year high school reunion. It starred Lauren Holly from Picket Fences as Betty, and Jughead grew up to be a psychiatrist for some reason, which is... It, that's pretty weird. That's it for this episode of You Think You Know Comics.